Hey guys, Glitch here, and welcome back to God's Basement. And for some reason, I'm back here. Um, okay. This is interesting. Why am I... Back in an area I've already gone through. Huh. Okay. This door is open now. That's good to know. Huh. Well. This ain't creepy at all. <laughs> Alright, well, we have to read. I'm starting to worry about the future. Grandma's condition continues to get worse. Is she going to stay like this for the rest of her life? I hope not. Will it happen if I have to leave for college? Who's going to take care of her? The way is now I can barely leave her alone for two seconds without her breaking something. I'm currently in my third year of high school, so I still have a little bit of time to think about that. Hopefully I'll come up with a solution later. James. Okay. Intriguing. Why is shit getting creepy now? Oh, I can just go this way. Where the hell am I? Oh god, am I? Am I oh. Well, hello there, <laughs> little rabbit. Seems like whenever you appear, something bad happens. So, I kind of want to avoid you right now. I'm gonna go this way. And not uh, worry about. Son of a bitch! Why is this a maze? Oh. I can't tell if that was my headset. Or if it was the actual game, but I just heard crackling, so. I, I think it's my headset. I had to make sure it was attached properly. It, it wasn't. Whoops. Oh. Well, ain't that nice. That's very nice. Ah, shit. Ow. Oh. Something there, then? Or is there a new note? Is, is this new? I think it's new. Ah, uh, yep, would you look at that. I just entered my senior year of high school. It's time to start thinking about what happens after high school. I've recently applied for this scholarship. It would pay for basically all my expenses, including tuition, room, and board, and everything else. My biggest issue right now is my grandmother. We don't, we don't really have any relatives or anyone to take care of her besides me. Will I have to take care of her for the rest of her life? The answer seems to be yes. Her condition keeps getting worse and worse. I know this is selfish, but I feel quite bitter about this current situation. I keep having to make sacrifices for her sake. Hopefully I'll think of a solution sooner rather than later. James. Oh god, not again. Hi, Grandma. At least, I think, Grandma. Why did you just raise your arm and then slowly start... I don't know if I should keep watching or if I should run. But I am mesmerized right now. Oh, shit. I think she's... Oh, she's going past the... Oh, hell no. Well, okay. This can't get any creepier. Can it? Well, I think that it can, as I bet if we continue down here, Mr. Rabbit is going to be still here. Huh? Okay, well, this is boarded up, so that's weird. I can't use that other door, so... Ah, I see. 
Okay, well, this is interesting. We just keep looping around. Oh, thank you, door. And look at that. What? Are you lost? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Are you lost? How can you be lost if you have nowhere to go? Are you scared? Are you frightened? Are you without hope? Are you without God? I mean, I don't know. Should I be scared? I, I mean, I'm gonna be a little controversial here, but I, I don't believe in God anyways, so is this gonna be an issue? I mean, okay, I guess. Do I keep going? I'm guessing that's a yes? Do I just keep going in a circle? Like, this is getting old, game. Literally, I just do the same thing over and over. And I'm not really liking this. Oh, I can't even close that door. Nope, oh, got wrong button. I have great news. I was one of the recipients for the scholarship. There's a downside, though. I can only use it on certain colleges. The list they gave me are all too far away to commute on a daily basis from our house and the college. So I would definitely have to move. The problem there is that no one would be able to take care of my grandmother. I can't just leave her. She can't cook or buy groceries or do anything by herself. I'm practically her caregiver rather than her grandson. If I leave her, she'll probably wind up dead from starvation or some sort of accident. It feels like I don't have many options here, James. Well, that's... That's horrifying. <laughs> I saw it through the crack in the door as I was going to say something else. So, this is intriguing. Did you like this, little boy? As if you did, we have some issues. If someone else did it, then we have even more issues. So, do I just go the loop again? I... Oh. No. Intriguing. So, maybe... New. Huh. Okay, anything here? Nope. I just figure out what the hell's going on here then, don't I? Anything in the pictures like last time? No. Alright, this door? Something? Hmm. God damn you! Are you leaving me too? Oh, Jesus! Christ almighty! <laughs> oh, that seriously made me jump there! Oh my god, I was not expecting that one! <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I I want to leave, but I, I don't think I can? Oh, would you look at that? Complete the loop again. Uh, yep. Of course. Just follow the loop. Just keep on going. Huh. There's no note this time. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Can't tell if that... Oh, no. It looked like the door was open. But that one apparently just... Doesn't open at all. And it appears that you are back on here. 
Needs hammer. Are you shitting me right now, game? Where am I going to get a hammer? Oh, I can't even go that way. Oh, was I supposed to... Ah, okay. I, I think I was supposed to grab it in the previous room or something. Which, I mean, would make sense. But I, uh, I don't know where a hammer would be. I can't go that way. Or that way, so looks like it has to be here. I guess. But the question is... Where? Um... No drawers can open. Anything with the pictures... Okay, nope. Nothing on these. Hmm. Ah! Of course. Of course it'd be in one of those. Now I gotta be careful, because I don't want to be jump scared. Oh, right. You have to hold it. Swear to God, if something grabs me from behind, I'm probably going to freak out. <laughs> the last... It wasn't even a jump scare, really. It was just... I don't know what to call that one. Oh, son of a bitch. Is this looping again? Oh. I mean, that's intriguing. This light's on now. Son of a bitch! Really? Again? Again? Seriously? Come on, game. Stop toying with me like this. Now look, the boards are picked up. God damn it! Oh, hell no. I'm not okay with that one. It's not even that door. Okay. I guess. Is it... Not that door. Got it. I'm very concerned right now. Oh, shit. You're back. Okay. Well, it's, uh... It's nice to see that pretty face again. You know what? I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna get closer. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was so perfect. Oh, wait, was that the chapter completed? Oh, shit. No way. Really? That took less time than usual. Alright, well... That annoys me. I was hoping that would take longer. Because that only lasted like... Uh, I don't even remember how long it took me to start this episode. So I'm going to give or take 13, 14 minutes by where my recording progress is at. So that sucked. Report to office before entering. Oh, we're back here. Okay, well that's... That's interesting. James, it's been a while since our last okay. encounter. Are you going to keep talking? That was a lot Shit. of information you to are. absorb. Alright, well, I'll you just let you finish it, up then. But I'll try to summarize the best that I can. You were trying your hardest to get by high school while also taking care of your grandmother, along with holding a part-time job. At the end of high school, 
you had amazing grades and received a full ride scholarship. The only problem was you would have to leave your grandmother to attend college. She raised you all by herself after your parents passed away. It tore you up inside, knowing that you would have to abandon her to move forward in your life. Slowly but surely, her condition kept deteriorating, to the point where it was an extreme burden to provide care for her. You had to make a choice, abandon her and move on with your life, or throw away a full-ride scholarship and sacrifice your potential to take care of her. Are you ready to find out what choice you made? This is kind of exciting, isn't it? Well, I won't make you wait any longer. You chose to stay. You felt that it would be wrong to abandon her, especially when she needed you the most. She took care of you when you were abandoned, right? You were just returning the favor. If you haven't noticed, this area represents your old job. The one you worked while taking care of your grandmother after you graduated. First thing you should probably do is sign in. Enter the door to your left and find your ID card. I'll speak to you soon. Good luck. Okay, well, that's interesting. So he chose to stay and take care of his grandmother who murdered his parents. That's, uh, that's interesting. Well, obviously he didn't know that at the time, I guess, and that's... That's weird. They're just like... I really hope that's not blood. <laughs> it looks it looks like blood, but it's like the way the couch is, obviously. That's weird, but... Okay, well. This game is starting to get very, very interesting. Learning a lot about James's life is... Fun, I guess. He apparently had a terrible, terrible life, though. He is, uh, his grandparents were basically, well, I should rephrase this. His grandfather killed his older brother, and then his grandmother killed his parents. So, yeah, his, his grandparents were kind of messed up, I guess. One was drinking, and one was just on a murderous rampage because she couldn't see her grandchild. That's, that's really messed up. Anyways, this game is getting really interesting. I can't wait to see what the next chapters have. But, just because I am an asshole, I'm going to win this here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.